So a lot of people have been waiting eagerly to find out more about the upcoming DJI Action 5 camera. It was supposed to just have been released, but it seems as though DJI have pushed it back to early September. Now, if that's the case, it's gonna be coming out just around the same time as the GoPro Hero 13, which I spoke about in my last video. Anyway, these new leaks allude to uh, a few minor upgrades in the software and maybe something interesting is going on with the hardware. So this is confirmation to earlier leaked images that we saw that showed that it's the same form factor as the Action 4. And we can see that it has the, the same aperture value, the same field of view, and the same sensor size. But this new leak, we get to see what's on the box. So on the back of the box, it actually points out that there's the same size sensor that we saw before. However, it says an all new sensor. So yes, the sensor is the same size, but it remains to be seen if there's something going on inside that sensor that makes it better than the previous generation. There's also a mention of some tracking that goes on within the camera software as well. What could this actually be for uh, tracking, unless it's to do with how it exposes the image, maybe it's like a face recognition, exposes the face better, and it follows you as you move. Um, but then I spotted on another photo that was leaked and it actually shows a phone sized square. So if you film in portrait on your phone, you'll know it's a nine by 16 frame and we can see that frame faintly in this image. So what that tells me is that when you want to film something and you're going to be moving around the frame a bit, it will track you and fit you to a phone screen. Um, I don't know exactly in which situations this will be useful because in my opinion, if you're filming yourself and you know you're gonna crop into it, you keep yourself in the center of, of the, the image the whole time, right? Um, but I'm sure there's reasons why it could be useful and hopefully if anyone thinks of any, could you comment below and let us know. It mentions the dual HDR OLED touchscreens, uh, as we know. The Osmo Action cameras have a touchscreen at the front and the rear. It mentions the 360 Horizon Steady, uh, and the issue with the previous camera was that to do the full 360 Horizon Steady, you had to drop to 2.7K. And the only way that they can improve on that is by increasing the resolution, which counteracts the good low light capabilities that was claimed in the previous generation camera, the Osmo Action 4. It mentions being able to link to the DJI mic. You know, that capability is already available in the Action 4. It mentions the extended battery life to four hours, but there's a one symbol next to it and we don't have the reference for what that one means. So is that with all the batteries that are included in the pack? Probably, you know, it should film for, it would film for more than four hours with three batteries actually. In my testing for the Action 4, I think it lasted about an hour and a half straight 4K recording. So it would last more than four hours. So uh, yeah, that's quite intriguing. Whether it can actually last that long on one battery is, a, is quite amazing. Now we did have on the previous leak for the GoPro camera, it's five hours, but then I was kind of curious as to whether that's because it's the creator edition and it comes with a Volta. So I don't know, maybe both the manufacturers have found ways to really extend their batteries. Also, we can see what's in the box and there is something new. So it has all the standard things, the camera, the little protective case, the curved mount adhesive, the cables, etc. But now there's a new sized mount. There's a mini version. So you get the normal version and you get now a mini version, which is just more compact. Um, let's rejoice. So all in all, it does seem as though this year DJI aren't really making much of an upgrade over the previous year's camera, um, but we don't know about the new sensor yet, so maybe there's some new gold hidden within that. So comparing it to the GoPro at the moment, the GoPro has a wider set of features with all the new lenses that are gonna be coming with it, and the fact that you can have HDMI output, um, so things are hotting up and it remains to be seen which camera is going to come out on top this year and I can't wait to get my hands on them all and try them. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, um, you can either check my previous videos to see the kind of comparisons I do or subscribe and stay tuned for comparisons on the way. And as ever, I'll see you on the next one.